There are just too many dads out there, man, that don't know how to be dads to their sons. Man, every time we go out to these sporting events, you get these dads that act wild and they act crazy, and they just don't know how to react. They don't know how to respond. I mean, maybe they didn't have a good teacher, or maybe they don't read the Bible, or maybe they didn't get a calling from the Lord to be a dad. Maybe they just got some random girl pregnant by leaving their, you know, thing inside and letting one loose and just got unlucky. I don't, I don't know what it is, but they don't really care for much of being a dad. And I'm going to give you three tips on how to be a really good dad. I mean, I'm not talking about an okay dad where you kind of get home and you kind of show up for a second. Or I'm not even talking about those redneck dads where they just get home and they kick a beer in and pop their feet up and, and uh, you know, they put their hand out like this and their kids just give them a beer. Boom. Beer me too. It sounds cool. Sounds fun. But that's not how to be a really good dad. So I'm going to give you three tips and we're going to jump right into just the tips. Uh, First off, be present. Be present means if you're watching a baseball game and your kid is in it, you want to make sure that you show up if they're winning. Don't show up for a kid if they're losing. Nobody wants a loser for a son. So if your kid is losing his baseball game, don't embarrass yourself. Just wait in the car until he gets in it. So show up and be present for your kids. Tip number two, give them unconditional love which means if they're hitting dingers, you're in the outfield screaming like a banshee and getting all crazy and wild. You wanna give them unconditional love, which means if they're striking out, you know where you're sitting, man. You're sitting in the car. No need to face that embarrassment if they're sitting there striking out. I mean, see ball, hit ball, right? You see that sucker, keep your eyes on it and spank it. Just spank that thing like I spank your mother, you know what I mean? So. See ball, hit ball, be present, boom, done. Unconditional love, boom, done. And at the end of the day, for the last and final tip, you wanna make sure that you give them the best example on how to treat their mother, which means, you know, if you get home from a hard day at work and she's sitting there cooking you dinner, boom, you're gonna give her a hug and a big kiss. You know, if you get home from a hard day of work and she's got the house cleaned up, you just, she's got the living room vacuum, she's got the dishes done, laundry's folded and put away, you know, you're going to show your kids, man, I love you, man, I'm going to give you a big old hug and kiss. You know, open the car door for her, fill up the gas tank or something, you know. Uh, but if you get home after a hard day's work and, and dinner's not done, dishes are still in the sink, you're making her stand outside, man. I don't even know. I don't even care if it's snowing outside. You're making her stand straight outside. No questions asked. You got to train those kids up right, man. You got to train those kids up right. They got to know how to treat a lady. Boom. It's it's a scratch my back, scratch yours type of thing. You don't just get to sit home all day with your face in your phone and, and scrolling. Your thumb hurts so bad because you've been scrolling all day and you don't have a plan for dinner. I've been working all day, nine to five, man, for this $22 an hour. You know, I expect dinner when I get home. Bada boom, bada bang, man, that's three tips on how to raise your son. Teach them that you're gonna be present, you're gonna give them unconditional love and how to treat their mother. Fatherhood secrets, cheers.